Get it, brother. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? So today we got a hunt and spear fishing day. Oh, I got the sun right in my face. Nice. Actually, this might be better lighting. So today we're going to be going spear fishing first, and then we're going to go hunt. I'm doing it all with AJ. It's currently. 709. We hopefully bring in some fish. He was looking to scrape some opihi and we're just gonna have a blast. It's gonna be an awesome day. It's been a while since I've been in the water, since I've been spear fishing. Uh, last time I went, I lost my spear gun, so he's letting me borrow his on this time. I think it's gonna be an epic day. I'm super stoked about it. Weather's looking beautiful, but check out this sunrise. It's already looking gorgeous. Today's gonna be a great day, you guys. Thank you for tagging along, and I hope you like the video. All right. See a pile of a pool there? What are we gonna catch, AJ? Man, I'm catching a big boy right now. Let's do like it. A ah, he's coming up right here. Right inside the harbor. <laughs> Let's catch a big boy, bro. I don't know if you guys can see right there. Oh, look at the birds. Oh, guy. It's kind of going off. Catch the fat fish. Flex on it. <laughs> I like just like catch on fat fish, take them home, flex on them. Sounds good to me. All right, I'll sit down the bird. Yeah, do that. Oh, something right here. To go, to go on big stuff, to go to a the big sailboat out there. And now we can see what's under us. Oh, that's all fish, eh? Look at this guy. He's marked with fish. Oh. The red on the bottom, that's the bottom of the ocean. It's not a bait. So, sometime today, I don't know when, I'm gonna run out of gas, so. <laughs> not for real. Good thing I got an extra tank. <laughs> but, uh, sometime, Thank God for that. <laughs> sometime uh, within probably another 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna go run out of gas and then we'll jump in, do some dive, and hopefully, uh, hopefully by, by then we're close to the harbor where we can swim the boat back. <laughs> yeah, so uh, AJ brought some paddles because we're gonna run out of gas today, so we can paddle ourselves all the way back. Guy, okay, forgot the paddle. But good thing you got these. Forgot the paddle. <laughs> Just sit on the back and just kick my legs. It was AJ's birthday yesterday. Hey, we made it though. We're out here. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Happy 21st, AJ. Oh, 1919. Water's looking cherry. Jump in, do some diving. Oh, there's a fish right here. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. Oh, right there, right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, brother. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro.
So that was sick. We just went diving. I got a Nuku. I actually lost my gun about a month ago, so AJ let me borrow his hatch. I think it's a 120 wooden enclosed track gun with a reel. Super sick. I kind of dig the pink to be honest, so maybe I'll do that for my next gun. Maybe we'll make some sashimi with the Yuku, maybe do a little bit of a steam. Uh, just a little catch and cook. So it's gonna be really good. It's a really good eating fish, so I'm super stoked. It's been a great day so far. Conditions were a little crazy. The water was a little bit more rough than we thought it was gonna be. I actually lost a fin. We picked some opihi. We got a couple gallons worth. AJ's got a party for his niece coming up, so we picked a bunch of opihi just for that. So opihi picking is pretty dangerous. You're right there on the side of the rocks and you're scraping these little limpets off of the rocks. And uh, the swell was picking up today, so every once in a while we'd get a big wave coming in at us and we'd have to kind of run back. So. It was a little dangerous, so I didn't record the entire thing. I just recorded a little bit and then put my GoPro down and just focused more on watching the waves and staying safe. But we got a bunch of opihi. We got a couple of fish. We're gonna do some hunting. AJ got a blind and we set up the blind. We set up a feeder, so we're gonna go check if there's any um, pigs coming, if there's any pigs coming to this feeder. So we got a pig, some fish, and we're all good to go. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. It's just been a great day so far with great company. So either way, no matter what happens, we're having a blast. Follow along, let's see what happens here. All right. Ah. Oh, your friend's stuck in the fence. There's a goat with his head stuck in the fence. So we're gonna get him out. Yeah, the same one that was the time it up last time. Oh yeah, that is the same one. Oh, whoa, take it easy. If he stays like that, he's gonna die. Yeah, especially if he twitches his neck a weird way. Almost there. No, why? Yeah. Oh, oh, almost. It's gonna do it itself. Almost. Hey. It's almost there. Don't worry, go. Like the save. Mm -hmm. Oh no no! Oh, what? <laughs> bend the pants. Hey, buddy! He's free. Here's <laughs> um. The goat lives to see another day. I can fly. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> there's some slop ages ran over. But yeah, we're gonna go check out this blind, see if we can find some pigs, check the camera. Let's go check out this spot. All right. Get everything on there, but 
next machine. Yeah, is, yeah. Hard to see how they are. Yeah. There's about five pigs, yeah. So AJ's checking the trail camera. It looks like we just had pigs here. So we're either gonna try to wait for them or find them. So AJ checked the trail cameras and there's actually pigs come into this area. They're really small, so we might let them go. But we'll see once they come up. We've seen a couple of big boys. But we're just gonna cruise in here. They've been coming around sunset. We'll see if they come back. And we'll see if we should either keep them or let them go. All right, you guys, so we just got done hunting and I'm back at home now. We didn't catch any pigs. I stopped filming. Um, no pigs came to the feeder, but I'm scaling the fish right now. I'm gonna steam it up, make some sashimi, make some steamed uku. Let's have some fish tonight. I'm gonna be doing a catch and cook for you guys. All right. So a couple of the best ways to eat this fish is either sashimi or to steam it. So I'm gonna do both. It goes by a lot of different names. But we call it an uku. Let's make some of both. We're going to use this for sashimi. Some of this is sashimi ready. So what we're gonna do is put that in there. We're gonna cook the rest of the yuku. We're gonna steam it. I give it a couple of splits with a knife and get some garlic salt, some pepper. fish right into the pan. We've got a couple of cups of water in there. I like a little extra flavor, so I'm gonna add a sausage. Then we're gonna add some ginger. And some garlic. This is what it's looking like. Aluminum foil. And then we're just gonna poke some holes on top. We got the oven set, 355. And we're gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes. Now what we're gonna do is get ready for our dip in the sashimi. So I'll show you. Some wasabi. And we're just gonna mix it all together and get it ready. All right, let's try it out. Oh my god, it's so good. Now we'll chop up some green onion. And some cilantro.
Fish is done. All steamed. Gonna add the cilantro, green onions, and the peanut oil right on top. And now for the peanut oil. That's what it's looking like after everything. All right, let's try it out. Oh my god. That is so good. That's the end of our video for you guys today. If you like that as much as I love making it for you guys, please leave a like, subscribe. We'll be out with more really soon. And remember to encourage the people around you. Have a great day, everybody. All right.